Hey, Shalom, Marky. All praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahshai. By Hashem, Yahshai. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and all you brothers pushing the name of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahshai. In truth and sincerity. Spirit got it. Here we got Elder Taz. The doctor came through. When we're talking about things that's happening, like the scripture saying, let that conversation be seasoned with salt. Now, the salt is this word, and we understand that we're living in the last days, and these prophecies, according to Jeremiah 28 and 8, and Lord willing, I'll get it. But all this stuff, the scriptures talk about the secret counsel of the wicked. We know that these elites, the Rothschilds, the Illuminati, the, the Illuminated, Lawson, Brattles, whatever they call themselves, the Bilderbergers, you know, Freemasons, whatever they call themselves, their whole agenda they're known as the Edomites in the Bible, and their whole agenda is to exterminate two-thirds of the world's um, population and then crown itself as the kings or, or the ruling class of the New World Order. That's why you got the things like Georgia Guidestones. Right, which is R.C. Christian, yep. which, is, which is a pseudonym. Pseudonym means a fake name. But when they set up the, uh, the Georgia Guidestones, this guy, R.C. Christian, when he set it up, it says on it, Maintain Humanity. At 500 million. That's right. So this whole thing about them, about, you know, people being killed and um, these different designer diseases and all that. Uh, even John Todd, when he did uh, a lot of his lectures back in the 70s, talked about it. He thought this was going to take place in the 80s. That's right. He said it was going to be train derailments. Um, there was going to be, uh, uh, you know, the financial institution was going to crash. That's right. Um, he was saying that there was going to be... Um, uh, it were going to be like uh, uh, disease outbreaks and stuff like that. Yeah. So he spoke about this in, in the mid-late 70s. He thought that this was going to happen in the 80s because it looked like it was rolling that way at back at that time. That's what, 70s or 40 years ago? That's right, yeah. But now we're in a time where all of this stuff is coming to fruition. This The devil, the so-called white man, he ain't pulling no punches now. He is trying to kill everybody. Hey, if I may, that's why you got Daniels 4 and 17 said this is the decree of the watchers. <clears throat> That the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Because they've been trying to push this new world order or come in with this new world order for years, but the Lord's been postponing and holding them back. That's right. But right now we're in the time of Revelations twelve and twelve where it says that he has he know the devil know he has but a short time and shall come down with great wrath. Now one of the great wraths or one of the things that they're gonna come down with is that biological warfare or what the scriptures call pestilence. And if I may, I got a precept for you. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 28 and 8. It said, The prophets that have been before me and before they of old prophesied against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. The prophets that have come before have prophesied against many kingdoms of war, of great evil and pestilence. That's the time that we're in right now. All of this stuff is man-made. It's all man-made. And now, before the big thing back in the... Uh, Back in the 80s and throughout the 90s, the big, the boogeyman was the AIDS. Yep. Now AIDS ain't so bad no more. Now they got commercials where they, where they, uh, uh, they got homosexuals on there advertising a drug you can take um, uh, that if you you don't have AIDS, you take this drug to help prevent you from getting AIDS. But if you're HIV positive, then you can't take this drug. Whatever drug they advertise and they got a bunch of homos and most the majority of the homos in the commercial is negroes yeah as, as part of their the new world order right. but part of the new world order is exterminating these people what they have a term called useless eaters that's right because the, the scripture in the law and the lord says pestilence when you look it up in the hebrew and the greek it means diseases and how does diseases really come forth by sinning against the most high when you read exodus 15 and 26 the lord told us when he took us out of egypt he said, look, he said, he said, look, if you keep my commandments, the diseases that came upon Egypt, nor any other diseases shall not harm thee. I shall be um, health unto thee. But if you break my commandments, these diseases and more that's written in this book, when you read Deuteronomy 28, and that's not written in this book shall come upon thee. And this COVID-19 or coronavirus, before you had the Zika, before you had the... Um, the, sw the swine flu, prior to that, the turn of the century, you had the Spanish flu. Those are all things created, biological weapons, to take down <clears> the people. <throat> and it's nothing new because they were doing that against the Native Americans. And even it's, it's said or rumored that, they, that um, they had something with the Nubonic and Bubonic plague to help take down the so-called Negroes during the um, medieval kingdom. That's right. why they called it the Black Death. Yep. It was called the Black Death. You're talking about two-thirds of the people everywhere you went was dead. 
So two out of three people everywhere you went during the Middle Ages throughout Europe was dead. And Jake was in control of Europe at that time. That's right. So two thirds, if two thirds of you drop dead, then you have you have no personnel. You can't fight off an invading army because you don't have bodies. The whole point of, of a war is you have bodies, live bodies that go into the war to defend your country, defend your gold, your, your crops, your fields. You got to have a military. If you don't have that, anyone, an invader, can come in and take it. That's the whole purpose of having a defense force, or having a military, a militia, or whatever. Oh, what's this devil? They have a term they like to say the best war to fight is the one you don't have to fight. Right. That's why they start making all this propaganda and they control the minds of the people. So the least people that uproar, the least damage control. Right. So that's why they put all these propaganda where people are giving away their so-called liberties away without any resistance. Look at 9-11. After that happened, people that don't mind you being surveilled at every corner. Right. After 9-11, they don't, people that have an uproar of their phone conversations and everything being recorded by the, um, what's that, um, the uh, NSA? Right, and the NSA. Yep. Right, because prior to 9-11, they were trying to pass the Patriot Act. People are like, hell no, that's unconstitutional. Get the fuck out of here with that. Then, when the buildings came down, uh, then, right after that, the Patriot Act passed. The Patriot Act passed right after that. And then some years after that, I think around, that was 2001, so in 2006, because we were speaking on 34th then, uh, Bush had put out a decree for uh, people's uh, phone calls, phone phone calls and records to be monitored. This was in 2006. It was it was it was made abroad and made uh, national news at that time. But we know they've been doing that anyway. They've been doing that since the 70s, 60s. Really, even mm -hmm. prior to that, to the 40s. Right, going back to the uh, the beginnings of the um, the KGB and the. Um, uh, CIA, okay. they've in the FBI. They they've been tapping people's phones and listening to conversations, reading mail and all that stuff. So that's like that's not nothing new, but that's what this devil does. So we're in that time now where, like the uh, the uh, theme of the video is the great culling. It's the time of the great culling and the thinning of the herd. And you know what? It's according to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh plan too. Where is that found? That that's found in Revelations the seventh chapter. If we could get that okay. Revelation seven. Yep. Revelation 7 is talking about the great coming. Matthew 24 also speaks about it too. Matthew 24, Yahweh Shai speaks about it. And in Revelation 7, um, Yahweh Shai uh, sent this through the angel down to John. Dictated it to John. What it says there? You want me to start at the first verse? Yeah, you start at the first verse. Revelation 7 and 1. It said, After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. That the four winds represent the destruction. No matter what form it comes in, whether it comes in the form of a hurricane, a tornado, earthquake, fires, um, disease. Those four winds represent all that, whether it's the nuclear missiles, okay, whether it's disease being a biological war, biological attack, your immune system being attacked, whatever it may be, whether it be... Um, GMO uh, foods. Whether it be GMO foods, vaccinations, vaccinations, <laughs> yeah. whether it be the food supply being totally destroyed, that all represents destruction. Because if your food supply is jacked up, if your water supply is poisoned, then what are you going? You're going to die. That's right. And they've been putting this stuff out there in the movies, showing what they got predicted programming, talking about even the food supply or the water um, supply being poisoned. They show you that in that movie V for Vendetta. Mm -hmm. It says. And the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the silver of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. So wait a minute, it says, Hurt not the earth, the water, nor the trees. So we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead. The servants are sealed. Now it's time for those four angels to let loose. That's right. Now it's time for all hell to break loose. That's because right. the servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, they're sealed. So now that they're sealed, what happens? Those four angels are going to what? They're going to they're gonna let loose. The four angels are going to get busy. And the angels can work on and control the minds of men. Yep. So should. who put it in the mind of the so-called white man to, uh, to uh, go into... The, the the physiology of the body and study the body and then come up with these different pathogens that break the body down. 
The, the Most High put it in his mind to do that. The scriptures say knowledge shall be increased. The Most High put it in his mind to do that. The Most High is the one who gave the man this ability to do what he does. Okay? He gave him the ability to do it. This is on Proverbs 16 and 1. It says, The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Look at that. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So the Lord put it in him because he's the devil. He got he has to fulfill that role. You know, he, he's playing... He gets the Academy Award for being the best devil ever. Well, he is the devil. Okay. Would the Lord say he had created the, the wicked for the day of evil? Right. He created the wicked for the day of evil. You got something else? Okay. This is... um. Isaiah 54, 16, it said, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth the instrument of his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Which is the, talking about the nuclear missile. Cut. He created the, the, the smith. In the ancient world, you had a blacksmith that you would give him specs on how you wanted the arrow to look or how you wanted, how, uh, how you wanted to make a certain sword or a dagger. You give him the specs of what you wanted, and then he would form it in the fire the way that you wanted. Put your signet on it or whatever. Uh, uh, temper it, sharpen it, and then get it to you. Okay. So that's what the blacksmith did. So the modern day smith today are the uh, the engineers and the scientists that design these different weapons of mass destruction. These any type of weapon that can be used, it's these engineers and scientists who develop them. And then you have the technicians that actually take take the the blueprints and they go build it and they okay. test it. They build it and they test it. So that's the smith that blew up in the coals. Yep, and another thing that these Smith or these scientists came up, they came up with the nuclear bombs with Oppenheimer, Bernard Von Braun, and all this stuff who split the atoms. But another thing that when they took had Operation Paperclip, when they took the Nazis and scientists from Germany, yep. they had biological weapons because Hitler was renowned for using those gases and everything else on them Amalekites, right, or whoever else in Negroes, right, that was over there in Germany. But also, when they, they came over here to America, they took that and used that as their biological weapon program or um, uh, um, um, their biological weapons. They took that knowledge from the Nazis. That's right. Even the, um, the uh, Marvel series, Captain America, shows you that. Yeah. It, it's all centered around what? The Nazis. All that technology went back to the Nazis. The, the U.S. and Russia didn't have jet engine technology until they got the Nazi scientists because the Nazis had jets. Now, the Jakes, the Red Tails... They were the ones who shot down the um, uh, uh, the jet fighters in World War II with the regular propeller propeller planes. Jakes in the military were the ones that shot down the jet planes out the sky, which were very which were much faster, highly maneuverable, can can move at at, at at the speed of speed of light, damn near speed of sound, break the sound barrier. They were they shot them down. That technology, the U.S. got it after Nazi Germany went down and Russia. The U.S. and Russia both got the technology. That's why it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Now, a weapon or sword, they said, we always say that the Lord called Esau the sword. When you look up sword in the definition, it says any instrument that causes death or destruction. The modern day sword is the gun, but also biological weapons, frequencies. This man weaponizes everything, and the thing that's have everybody in the uproar that's going to cause an economical decay and everything else is this biological warfare that they spread. And there's nothing new. Look at the smallpox with the Native Americans. Look at syphilis with the Negroes over here during um, the Tuskegee, Tuskegee experiments. Right? Yep. So it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me. Says the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. So that's the time that we're in, and that's what we're dealing with. You know, with this biological warfare is on the highest stream. And let's say this one calms down. The CDC has a whole host of viruses that they weaponized and that they kept. That's where you get movies like Resident Evil, where they had secret underground bases. When you got those CDCs, a lot of them have underground bases where they hold those viruses at. That's right. Under, I think like maybe four or six stories underground and it's mandatory because they got different codes from one through I think six and I think the, 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 the lab in Wuhan was a level four which also they use to make this um, coronavirus one to depopulate and cripple the economy because China is one of the major importers of all goods and 
these so-called Jews, these Amalekites, these Edomites, they want to stop these Moabites from coming to power because they were growing so big talking about they're going to be the next second power, which right. is all bullshit. And Lord right. said, is, the Lord's going to choose Israel again, but yet it's our job out here to prophesy and expose these things through the Spirit of the Lord. I got a quick precept. Second Ezra 15 and 5. Mm. Behold, saith the Lord power, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what's happening in the world right now. We're that's dealing right. with this pandemic who the World Health Organization has declared this uh, uh, basically a pandemic all over the world. And you know what? It could have been prevented, especially here in the U.S. But you know what? They wanted it to get out there because they wanted people to be, become infected with it. And they just, want people to die. They want a high body count. And you brothers can look it up, sisters, whatever, that when you Google um, the World Health Organization, they tried to give America... The, the tools or the testing agents to test for the virus in America refused, showing you that they wanted this pandemic Look to come that. over here. Look at and that. that was on the mainstream news. Wait a minute, hold up. Now, since you <laughs> said that, I got to segue into this. Now, this article was by a guy, I believe the, the guy who did this article, the article is called Don't Test, Don't Tell, mm. and uh, by a man named Tyler Durden. Now, if you remember the name Tyler Durden, Tyler Durden was the uh, main character in... um. What's the name of that movie? Uh, Fight Club. Oh, okay. And remember, they were um, they they were inspiring to bring down the um, the financial institution, so everybody goes back to zero. Even even the so-called rich people and the elites. His whole thing was they wanted to destroy all the credit agencies, so everybody could be on an even playing field. And they, um, when they destroyed the credit building, they call on on the DVD is they called it the Walls of Jericho. Mm. When they blew up the building. Yeah. But his, remember, the main character, B Brad Pitt, name was Tyler Durden. Now, this article, Don't Test, Don't Tell, is by Tyler Durden. It says, um, mm, heavy. It says, I believe that a healthy society should not have only one voice. Lee Wenliang, Wuhan physician, born October 12, 1986, died February 7, 2020. Last night, I received a Twitter DM that included screenshots of an email that went out to staff of the UC Davis Medical Center. After checking for authenticity, I posted the screenshots in a tweet of my own. And that's when, as the kids would say, it blew up. Now he goes on to say, I want to highlight a couple quotes from this email. Since the patient did not fit the existing CDC criteria for COVID-19, a test was not immediately administered. UC Davis Health does not control the testing mm -hmm. process. The facts here are pretty clear. Patient comes in from another hospital on Wednesday, February 19th, which this is basically almost a, a month ago. This is one week ago, already intubated and on a ventilator, and the doctors at UC Davis who have treated other COVID-19 cases immediately suspect COVID-19, but the CDC refuses to test for COVID-19. Yeah, see? Yeah. They refused it. Now, this is before we got to this point that we are today, which today's the Friday the 13th, March 13th. This was on uh, February, uh, February, uh, if I go back here, the guy said this was February 19th. So basically, this was about a month ago. So they refused, the CDC refused to test. Now, it says why? Because it didn't fit their criteria for testing when goddamn well the guy had it. Yeah. And it says... Because they didn't, it didn't fit the criteria for testing. They didn't know for sure that the patient was in mainland China within the past 14 days. So what? And they did not know for sure that the patient was in close contact with another confirmed case. So by definition, this patient can't possibly have COVID-19. No test for you. This is don't test, don't tell. And it is the single most incompetent, corrupt public health policy of my lifetime. You see? <laughs> Heavy, man. And I show you that, and look, the acronym of um, CDC is Center of Disease Control. control. Show you that they control the diseases and they they, they, they they play God, so to speak, of trying to push out these epidemics and these diseases. Because there's an old saying, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. But as the scripture said, we're not ignorant to Satan devices. We understand that this devil, the Illuminati, or whatever they call themselves, the Rothschilds, or even was his Phil, Prince Philip, he even said... With the population control or the population problem, if he was to be reincarnated, he wanted to be reincarnated as a virus so he can help the population control. Right. These devils have an agenda 
to wipe out masses, the majority of this world's population. It's estimated that this world population is roughly from eight and a half to nine billion that they want to decimate and bring it down to 500 million. That's a lot of murder and a lot of killing. Now, I got, I got something else I want to read. Uh -huh. uh, this is the Georgia Guidestones. In June 1979, a man going by the pseudonym, pseudonym means fake name, yep. of R.C. Christian approached an Elberton Granite Finishing Company with the task of building a monument. He said that no one was to ever know his true identity or that of the group that he was representing, which is who? The Illuminati. Yep. He seemed to have an endless supply of money to fund the project, and by the terms of the legal contract, all plans had to be destroyed after completion, and all information about him withheld from the public. In 1980, the stones were finished. They carry a tablet in front proclaiming, let these be guide stones to an age of reason. Ooh, what's that? The New World. Yep. The New World Order. That's, right. That's their age, or what they call a new eon, which is a Greek word meaning age. For time. <laughs> yep. Engraved in the stones are ten guidelines meant to reestablish the planet and society, perhaps after an apocalypse. They are written in eight different languages, English, yep. Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hindi, mm -hmm. Hebrew, Hebraic, yep. Chinese, and Russian, and among other commandments preached to maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Balance personal rights with social duties. Be not a cancer on earth. Leave room for nature. And that's what they're saying. They, they got a term with the people that's not part of the elite or the Fortune 500 or the 13 richest families called useless eaters. Right. I mean, if you're not part of the New World Order fully, that they want to exterminate you. And they, this is another thing, too, for you niggas who sold out your know, LeBron James, Michael Jordans, your um, Kanye West, or whether fashions or entertainment that you use to push their propaganda. When the scourge, or the, the scourge, what they call in Isaiah 28, when they bring in this new world order, they're going to destroy you, too. They don't need you no more. That's why the scripture said in Sirach, 12th chapter, never trust thy enemy as Iron rustless, so does his wickedness. Mm. I got a, I got a quick precept. Uh, let me see right here. <clears throat> Second Ezra fifteen and twenty seven. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For the Most High shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. So mm -hmm. you Jakes out there, you niggas out there that you got a problem with the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Sure. Guess what? The plagues is going. Eat your ass alive. Your monkey all right? ass. The plagues is going to take your monkey ass down. All of you who are in league with the Illuminati, willingly, whether knowingly or unknowingly, because you got people who work for them that don't know they work for them. Yeah. And then you got people who work for them directly, like Jay-Z and different people like that. The Lord is going to take you your asses out. You ain't making it. Hey, but you know what's heavy? That's why the Lord has the service of prophets through the four corners of the earth. You know, our fellow brethren who fear the most high and coming in their lot, teaching this word, putting it on the airwaves. The Lord said, tell them whether they hear or they forbear. You've been forewarned. Brothers, I'll have different facets of videos, whether it's symbolism, whether it's um, agendas. It has been out there push, showing you what the Lord was susceptible <coughs> to the Lord and what's satanic. Getting tattoos, the homosexual agenda, the adultery agenda, that's all satanic. Now, if you're pushing all that stuff, you're going to be put to death. Now, them that come in, as I tell you in Psalms 34 and 3, come and magnify the Lord with us together, magnify the Lord's name with us together, then if you endure and keep your um, integrity and the truth in your lips until the end, this Lord said, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And I got, and this, just in case you got these num nimwits out there telling me, y'all fear mongers, <coughs> y'all believe in that conspiracy? Cut. Oh, yes, because Psalms are 64, we believe in the Heavenly Father. The Lord said he surely he doing nothing but revealing his secrets to his servants the problem, the prophets. The problem on this earth is these damn demons, the heathen, and Esau and the rest of the heathens that's coming in with this new world order. When you read Psalm 64, chapter, it said, King David prophesied, said, protect me and keep me from the secret counsel of the wicked. That's right. And they put that in the Simpsons. 
in your movies where they have these councils or right there with the Agenda 21, the Bilderbergers and all these different groups where you're not invited, nor are there any cameras, nor cell phones or microphones where they set out the agenda of what they want to do, what they call the sheeple or the people and the goyim. That's what they call useless eaters and the sheeple or the goyim or cattle, which is made for what? The slaughter. <clears throat> That's right. I got a pre um, precept for you too. Yep. This is um, Matthew 24, 22. It says, except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Look at that. Except those days should be shortened, no flesh shall be saved. You see, you see what the scripture said? Read it again. Mm -hmm. Yep. It said, and except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. For the elect, going back to what the elder brought out earlier, Revelations, the seventh chapter, the ones that's being sealed. Are the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, aka the remnant, aka the elect, aka the chosen of the Lord, the Lord's true servants? Second Ezra sixteen and thirty nine. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. These plagues they ain't gonna be slack. It's gonna be one after another yep. after another after another. It's gonna be in different forms. There's there's a locust plague that's going on yep. in the world right now. Of course, it's not on the national news media. Because the coronavirus is, is the headline headliner. But um read it again, second Ezra sixteen thirty nine. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. <clears throat> and see, look, the Lord said, um, what's that, Job five and twelve? He disappointed the, the craftiness of their craftiness or their agenda. Mm -hmm. On the dollar bill, it says the new concepted meaning our enterprise is a success. No, it's going to be a failure because the Lord is going to stop and halt everything that you plan to do. Another thing, too, with this coronavirus outbreak and epidemic is bringing in the fear is that they're going to come in with a vaccination, right. which we know is going to be laced with the corona and <laughs> other, things. other things. It ain't just going to be the corona. It's going to be other things. There's information floating out there that... um. That the, with the situation in Wuhan, because when, when they activated that 5G system, that's really when this corona thing really broke out. That's right. And they're talking about the smart dust. Now, the smart dust, when you see those planes flying in the air, push, pushing off the barium oxide, they're popping out that smart dust, too, which once it goes into your body and into your bloodstream, they activate a certain frequency, <clears throat> and it could cause you to become sick right at the point when they activate that frequency. And there's, right. and there's information that's been coming out about that 5G. When the 5G system was activated in Wuhan, that's when people really started getting sick. Now, if I may, now Vladimir Gruvall was a scientist who came up with that frequency technology that you've seen in that first movie, Incredible Hawk, the sonic <clears throat> beam. Even on 60 Minutes, they show you how they have crowd control where they can use the sonic beam. They also show you that in the movie Iron Man. Now, we say why we put all these movies out there because they put what they're going to do and their agendas right in front of you, put it in as entertainment. They put it right in there with right, a contagious outbreak. Right. Now, with the vaccination having the main disease or thing in there, I am legend. Mm -hmm. They had the, what was it named? The, the crypt. It was called the Crippen virus, the secret virus. Yep. And what they used to, um, to, to put the Crippen virus into people, to put it into your system, they had to use another virus. They used the, um, they used, uh, uh, what was it in the movie? They, they said it. They used, it was supposed to be a cure for cancer. Yes. So what they did was they used the rabies virus to be the carrier to carry the, the Crippen, Dr. Crippen's uh, uh, vaccine into the bloodstream. Yep. They used the rabies. It was complemented with the rabies uh, thing. And then what happened? The people mutated into these monsters that want to bite the shit out of you. Like when a person has, a dog has this rabbit or a raccoon. What do they want to do? They want to bite the shit out of you. Well, even they have chemical, when you have chemical imbalance, look at the people that are using bath salt over there in Florida. <clears throat> this stuff isn't far-fetched. Sometimes they have a term called truth is stranger than, um, uh, um, than fiction. Right. And this stuff is out there. But the main thing is to have people fear to kill off most of the people and the people that they're going to have left, they want to chip with that microchip. Yep. I got a preset for you. This is Daniel's 8 and 25. It said, and through his policy also, he shall call, cause craft to prosper in his hand. He shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. And that's how this devil <laughs> operates. Through peace, he shall destroy many because you go into a country 
uh, you send your ambassadors in there about peace. Those ambassadors are spies to spy out the wealth of that country. And then in the back end, you're devising a plan to go in there and overthrow the government and set up your puppets in there so you can go and fucking suck the country dry yep, of the natural destroy. resources. You destroy them by setting up a central bank there, and then you leave the country total de country totally decimated after you walk up out of there. You leave it decimated. But you go in there through peace. You yep. want the peace, and you give gifts. Okay, really, you're going in there. It's a spy mission to go and spy out the prosperity of the country and, and the resources so you can get them. That's right. Like the Wuhan yeah. um, factory or um, lab was created by who? France. And the Chinese built it up, right? But that's one of the different allies. And they got spies in so different layers that they go in and they corrupt and destroy this world. The whole thing with Esau is to destroy. That's where you get John 10 and 10. It said the thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and that's destroy. Right. That's right. And that's what time went. That's why we don't trust. The scriptures say never trust our enemies. You got Biden up in um, churches and Jake is in there accepting them. You go into this government. Uh, the scripture said won't to them who go down to Egypt for help. Because you're supposed to be crying to the Heavenly Father and His Son who could deliver you and take you out of this um, cause. But they're crying unto the enemy. So the Lord said, whatever the enemy gets, you're going to get according to Isaiah 13. Right. Them that are joined with them shall be thrust through with them. Second Ezra uh, 8 and 50 and 51. <laughs> For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Ooh. Hey, what did Trump say? <clears throat> this is the calm before the storm. Look at that. That storm, he wasn't lying to you. Yeah. Pay attention. Listen, the Lord gave us, yeah, gave us spiritual eyes and ears. When you have a storm, you have many different assets. You might have heavy rain, hell, thunder, lightning, right? High winds. So it's going to be a cocktail of things that's about to come on this earth. But the main one that we're dealing with right now is the pestilence that walketh in the dark, a.k.a. biological warfare. But there's going to be many other things. They got the, 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 the animals are going to go crazy. They got microchips that's in animals and they're with one hit of a button, hit a signal that all mayhem will go loose. Yeah. You know, look at Dr. Um, what's his name? Um, who had the bull. Jose um, Gatto, I think. You know, his name come back to me, but he's the one who had the microchip in the bull and he can make the, the, the bull go have rage or be calm. Look at that. And this is scientists and <clears throat> stuff that they have out there. Watch. Through yeah. the spirit of the Lord, we, we, we um, exhort brothers to continue to watch and fight the good fight of faith, man. Uh, I'm going to just read the next verse here. In gotcha. second verse eight. I'm going to read 8 and 15 to 51. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. So the scriptures say, understand for thou for thyself. That's right. So this understanding is only meant for a certain group of people. And it says, seek out people that are just like you. So it ain't for everybody. So we really don't give a damn if everybody don't get it. Because the scriptures 